rebellious members of the British royal family are once again at the center of the scandal. Prince Harry will have to testify against his wife in court. The Duke of Sussex and his wife were convinced the lawsuit from Meghan Markle's sister is complete nonsense. Prince Harry had no doubt whatsoever that his lawyers could easily resolve the case without the noise and attention of the press because it didn't even really have a subject matter. But the reality was far from what he expected. As reported by The Mirror, the British king's youngest son will soon have to testify against his wife Meghan. When Harry learned of the possibility of such a situation he considered it absurd. But Markle's sister is ready to go all the way. Samantha resents the Dussel couple and Meghan, who slandered her and her father for no good reason. The truth must prevail, Samantha believes. If only Meghan had lied once, but no. The Duchess slanders her family with enviable regularity and distorts the real facts, Samantha says. In almost every interview, Markle talks about her difficult childhood, saying her father abandoned her and denies her warm relationship with her sister. But the Duchess's family is sure her father Thomas gave his daughter plenty of time and attention during her childhood and adolescence. Their relationship only began to deteriorate five years ago through Markle's own fault. Samantha, who feels hurt not so much for herself as for her father, intends to prove in court that everything her sister said about the family is a lie. Upon learning of the lawsuit, Carl's son was not at first alarmed. The culprit of the growing scandal was also unperturbed by the news. But the couple's lawyers were powerless to settle the matter themselves, for the judge to whom the case came decided to give it his full attention. The court will question Markle and take the testimony of Harry, who is to testify against his wife. The information will be given under oath and videotaped. And all this on the eve of the coronation of the prince's father.